hi welcome or welcome back to my channel so in this video as you can see by the title today i'm going to be doing another recreating pinterest hairstyles again i'm going to be doing three more hairstyles today and the first one that i have is this one right here she has a bun on top and then she has a braid or twist so first i'm starting off using my comb and i'm making a side part and then once i make my part i'm making another like section in the front for my braid and the parting for this is not perfect but you won't be able to see this part anyway so it doesn't matter i didn't care that much i went ahead and tied that part up and now i'm focusing on the rest of my hair um i'm gonna go ahead and pull it up into a loose bun and then i'm also detangling my hair real quick and i used some water too but i did that off camera and i only brushed the perimeter of my head i didn't really need to go all in and thoroughly brush my hair so i'm just pulling my hair up and i put it into a ponytail now i'm focusing on that braid there or the twist that i'm going to be doing just because the end of it i'm going to stick onto the braid or onto the bun so i use some edge booster and i'm going to go ahead and twist the hair i'm first doing like a flat twist and then i'm going to go into a braid here at the end so that it's secure and doesn't come loose Once I finish that twist, I'm putting some edge booster on my hair and I'm using my hard bristle brush to finish off the bun. I'm adding the twist onto the bun and then I'm securing my hair with the hair tie. And then for the bun, I'm just brushing the ends of my hair and I also use some water and I'm wrapping it around like so. For this bun, you want the bun to kind of be standing up tall because I'm going to be using this um, wrap stuff. I don't, I forgot what this is called, but I'm using this stuff here and I'm wrapping it around my bun. Like I said, you need your bun to be kind of tall so you can wrap this around. And last for the edges, I'm doing my edges kind of similar to hers. I'm trying to get it as similar as to hers as I can get it. She has one big swoop on one side and then the other side, it's kind of like a wave, if that makes sense. So this is what the first hairstyle looks like. I feel like it's pretty spot on. Her bun is a little bit different from mine's, but it still looks good. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen so you can see. I'm gonna give myself a nine out of 10 for this one, just cause the buns are a little bit different, but this is it for the first hairstyle. Now for the next hairstyle, this is what it looks like. I've seen a lot of people try this out and I wanted to try it on my hair. So I'm starting off with making a middle part um, going only halfway through I guess and then I'm pulling the sides of my hair I'm making a part on the sides of my hair and I'm kind of using that middle part to help and then once I have the two sides pulled out I'm gonna go ahead and I'm detangling one side first and I use some water also by the way I'm making a triangle part in the front and that's gonna be for the braid I'm tying that part up and then I'm moving on to the other side and detangling that side and then again I'm gonna pull out the same amount of hair on that side for the braid Before I braid those two sections in the front, I wanted to do my edges first just so that it doesn't get in the way or anything later on. And now I'm going to go ahead and start braiding the two pieces in the front. Once I'm done with the braids, I'm moving on to the rest of my hair. So I kind of would touch up on this part and then like come back to it later, but I'm adding some water to my hair. I'm detangling my hair in sections and yeah, from there I am like pulling on my hair to the back. And like I said, I'm kind of doing this all over the place. So I moved on to doing the two pieces in the front and I'm making those into two small buns. So for the buns I'm doing on the picture, she has like these clips or I don't know if those are clips or those little ball things, the ponytail holders with the ball on the end, but she has those in her hair and I don't have any like type of accessory to put in my hair so I just left it alone. Once I finish the buns, I'm going back over my hair and I use some more water and then a little bit more gel also and I'm using my fingers and going through my hair. Now this is the final result for this second hairstyle. I feel like this one was pretty spot on also. I just didn't have the little things in my hair. But other than that, this one I feel like I'm gonna give myself also a nine out of 10. Last one I have is this hairstyle right here. And this one is gonna be a lot easier to transition over to. But once I took my hair down out of the buns and the braids, I'm gonna go ahead and detangle my hair. When I get my hair detangled, I'm using some more gel and I'm putting that on the front part of my hair and I'm brushing my hair back using my hard bristle brush. 
And then since these two sides are gonna be swooped down kind of, I'm using a ponytail holder and I'm pulling them together in the back of my hair. You can't really see it that well, which is good, but I'm doing that and then I'm fixing my edges. Her edges, she has like a middle part almost with her edges, so I just fixed it like that. And then I'm adding my clips into my hair. I didn't really mean to have it exactly like hers, but I put my clips in. Um, I just used different colors also. I wanted to switch out that brown, or not brown, that blue one for a brighter one because I wanted them all to be kind of a bright color. So now moving on to the rest of my hair. My hair was fine kind of already before I pulled it out, but I wanted to kind of refreshen it, add a little bit more water, more gel and detangle it a little bit more. I also kind of wanted to fluff it out because she had a lot of volume in her hair. Now this is the last hairstyle and how it looks. I feel like this one, I'm gonna give myself a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna put the picture on the screen so you can see and compare my hair to hers. Let me know which hairstyle you like the best. And with all that being said, hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.